Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Today is the Feast of All Souls, the day we are reminded that our family and friends in purgatory, they need our help to reach heaven. Now, yesterday when we meditated on All Saints Day, and the call to holiness, we learn that in heaven, we will be like God, like Jesus, fully human, yet divine. But what prevents us from achieving this? Well, our disordered attachments and vices, that's what. The book of Revelation, in chapter 21, says, nothing unholy will enter heaven. That means the vices of pride, vain ambition, envy, anger, sloth, greed, gluttony, lust, gossip, resentment, and so on, these can't be in heaven. Well, what are we going to do? No, I don't mean we won't have any fun in heaven if those vices aren't there. I mean, what are we going to do if we have these vices in us when we die and those vices can't be in heaven? Well, we got to get rid of them. We need to be purified. And the Catechism tells us that all who die in God's grace and friendship, but still imperfectly purified, are indeed assured of their eternal salvation. But after death, they undergo purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Purgatory is not a place of torture. It's not where God punishes us for our sins. Purgatory is like detox. All our sins 
all our addictions keep us from being happy. That's why alcoholics and sexaholics and drug addicts, guess what? They're not happy. So if you brought your vices, your disordered desires and thought patterns into heaven, you wouldn't be happy and heaven wouldn't be heaven for you. Your only hope is to go through God's rehab program. And rehab hurts. Ask anybody who's tried to get over a physical addiction, tried to get the sickness out of their flesh. Then remember that in purgatory, you've got to get the sickness out of your soul. You've got to burn out the resentment. You've got to sweat out the self-centeredness, the vanity. You've got to work through the shakes and the DTs until you can let go of all the denial about the people you've hurt. And it will hurt. But God's rehab center is a mercy. But trust me, you want to spend as little time there as possible. You want to get free now. You want to be happy in this life. You want to get out from your addictions and be transformed from vice to virtue to glory. Don't put it off. Do it now. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. It's amazing how we cling to our sin and our bad habits because they don't make us happy. So why are we putting off getting rid of them? Let's do it now. And here's a simple, really three-step plan for detox. Step one. Spend time in friendship with God every day in mental prayer through the rosary or Lectio Divina seven days a week, not just one or two, because mental prayer will increase your desire for God and decrease your hunger for sin. 
and it'll change your way of thinking. And if you practice a resolution every day, it'll change your behavior. Step two, receive Jesus as often as you can in the Eucharist and go to him in the Sacrament of Reconciliation at least once a month because Jesus is the divine physician. He is the only one who can forgive and heal you of your sin. And step three, we got to get rid of the things in our life that cause us to sin. Our sins are nearly always linked to particular situations. Sinful behavior and addiction are largely environmental. If you put folks in a certain environment, they're almost certain to give in to their temptation. But if you remove them from that environment, the intensity of their temptations and their likelihood of giving into it, it goes way down. So we need to identify our habits of sin, then remove these things from our environment, or at least remove yourself from them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Faustina experienced souls in purgatory. She writes, One night, a sister who had died two months previously came to me. I saw her in a terrible condition, all in flames, with her face painfully distorted. This lasted only a short time, and then she disappeared. A shudder went through my soul because I did not know whether she was suffering in purgatory or in hell. Nevertheless, I redoubled my prayers for her. The next night she came again, but I saw her in an even more horrible state, in the midst of flames, which were even more intense, and despair was written all over her face. Despite this, I kept on praying. After some time, she came back again to me during the night. But this time, her appearance had changed. 
There were no longer any flames, as there had been before, and her face was radiant, her eyes beaming with joy. She told me that I had a true love for my neighbor, and that many other souls had profited from my prayers. She urged me not to cease praying for the souls in purgatory, and she added that she herself would not remain there much longer. Then one evening, the deceased sister appeared to me. Remember, the first time I had seen her, she had been in great suffering, and then gradually these sufferings had diminished. But this time she was radiant with happiness, and she told me she was already in heaven. Then she came closer to me, embraced me sincerely, and said, I must go now. I understood how closely the three stages of a soul's life are bound together. The life on earth, in purgatory, and in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The most important thing we need to remember from this feast day is that we can really help family, friends, and strangers through purgatory into heaven, just like Faustina. The Catechism reminds us by, that by our prayer, especially by offering the sacrifice of the Mass, as well as our rosaries, chaplets, and by offering our suffering, but also by almsgiving, by giving money to the church and the poor, and by indulgences, we can help those in purgatory. We can, in a sense, speed up their purification process. And helping souls in purgatory, well, it's a win-win proposition, because once we help get them to heaven, they can turn and help us in an even greater way. The Catechism says, Our prayer for the souls in purgatory is capable not only of helping them, but also of making their intercession for us more effective. So let's make a deal with those who have gone before us. I'll help you into heaven, then you turn around and help me. 
because I need a lot of help. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, O Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by, by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Patricia, there are, there's a lot of things on my mind with this topic of purgatory. Mm. And the, the poor souls in purgatory. And the countless people who are there who have no one to pray for them, no one to help them. But I always enjoy more your thoughts. What were you reflecting on during this meditation? My, my reflection itself was still just mostly on praying for those souls that I do know of, uh, especially those in, in need of prayer and people that maybe didn't find God before. They, they passed. But an interesting question did arise. A question, fun, I never ask you good theology questions at the end of these, and I feel like this is such a perfect opportunity. So Faustina often takes walks in the cemetery, which is very charming of her to do, <laughs> but she also often speaks with the dead. What, what is the Catholic perspective on ghosts ah very good very good question very good question so yes saint faustina god gave her the gift of experiencing seeing speaking with not only jesus and mary but her guardian angel saint michael uh souls in purgatory god gave her experience of souls in hell she experienced the devil and demons. God gave her that experience. Mm -hmm. She didn't seek it on her own. Mm -hmm. 
So the first thing is we must never seek by powers other than God to have those experiences. Mm. Uh, that's very, very, very dangerous. Yes. Okay, we got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, ghosts, so we know, it, 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 it was put so well by Faustina herself when she said in that, that last line of the passage that I, I was speaking about, this is from her diary, mm -hmm. paragraph 594. She said, I understood how closely the three stages of a soul's life are bound together. That is to say, life on earth, in purgatory, and in heaven. Mm -hmm. So we, we have this idea that once a person dies, we're totally cut off. It's not so. It's not so. Uh, this is why we can interact with the saints. They are all around us. Our guardian angel is with us. Demons are with us. Mm. But the souls of purgatory. So the, the spiritual world uh, is very close. And ghosts are probably souls in purgatory who are asking for help. So ghosts are real. Uh, I would say that <laughs> spirits, uh, humans who died, who no longer have a body, they mm -hmm. just have a soul. Mm -hmm. So they're spirits, they're souls, and they're asking for help. Uh, there are many, many Catholic mystics who, uh, like Faustina, who experienced souls coming to them. Now, because they were Catholic and they knew their faith, like Faustina, they would say, oh, this is either a person in hell or a person in mm -hmm. purgatory or a saint in heaven. Yeah. They wouldn't say that's a ghost. That's a ghost. Yeah. Uh, would you say that's a pretty secular term? Well, I think we call the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost. Mm. It just means mm -hmm. spirit. Yeah. It just means spirit. Interesting. I've never thought too much about it. Because my thought usually if people are like, especially when it comes to things like ghost hunting, I'm like, that's just, that's just not real. And most of those cases are very, very clearly just rigged or silly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like Scooby-Doo. Like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it's always a guy in a mask. But... This is an interesting part of our faith that I hadn't really thought about, the reality of souls beyond the body. It's very real. Mm. It's very real. I almost wish we had done a meditation on it in October. Would have been an interesting perspective. Yeah. Well, your guardian angel is a person without a body mm -hmm. who's with you all the time. So I'm always haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Not haunted, blessed. A little bit better. Yeah, this is we. This is the tragic part of living in a hyper materialized world mm -hmm. that we have forgotten about the soul, uh, the spiritual world, and it is more real than this world. There was another passage in Faustina's diary that really struck me. Yeah. And I had a hard time picking which one. Mm -hmm. Can I share it with you? Absolutely. I wonder if it's one that I'm thinking of. She writes, One night, I saw my guardian angel who ordered me to follow him. In a moment, I was in a misty place full of fire in which there was a great crowd of suffering souls. They were praying fervently, but to no avail for themselves. Only we can come to their aid. The flames which were burning them did not touch me at all. My guardian angel did not leave me for an instant. I asked these souls what their greatest suffering was. They answered me in one voice that their greatest torment was longing for God. I saw Our Lady visiting the souls in purgatory. The souls call her 
the star of the sea. She brings them refreshment. I wanted to talk with them more, but my guardian angel beckoned me to leave. We went out of that place of suffering. I'm, I'm hesitating because I, I could go on and on and on with her account of uh, interacting with these souls. But it's a tremendous testimony to the reality. Yeah. And that they can't help themselves. I thought that was, that was another thing that struck me while we were praying. My first thought being, so if people, correct me if I'm wrong at any point in this, people in heaven could pray for us? And we can pray for souls in purgatory. And they can pray for us. And I was thinking, well, I feel like the prayers of people in heaven are more effective than ours. So why aren't they just getting all those people out of purgatory? But my initial thought being, uh, prayer is not just for those we are praying for. Prayer is for us. In the sense that it is entirely our mission on earth to help each other. Correct. And that includes people in purgatory. So yes, uh, the people praying for us and others in heaven have much power. And it's not that they don't. It's just that there is much more good for us to be the ones praying. Yeah, excellent. Very well said. That the, the, the whole family mm. is stretched across three realities. That's kind Heaven, of crazy. Uh -huh. Purgatory, mm. and here on earth. Yeah. That's the family of God. And in the family, God the Father wants the kids to help each other. Mm -hmm. And by helping each other, we, we do good for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We get benefit for ourselves. We yeah. grow. And I mean, it'd be like, I think about, obviously, you've got you and mom, and then I have older siblings, and then there's Savior and I being like the younger two siblings. But... If the moment my siblings went to college and stopped doing all their chores, if every time they came back, they just immediately did everything for us, we'd be the most spoiled, trashy kids. But no, I, I had lovely old, older siblings that said, uh, <laughs> you can do your part for certain. I thought maybe you were drawing an analogy that mom and I were in heaven. Oh, and your three older siblings were in purgatory and you and Xavier on earth. <laughs> you know, if you look at it from a certain perspective, I was saying it that way. <laughs> but that if if they're truly invested in us becoming better people, they might think it's kind and helpful to do all of our work for us now that they don't have the responsibility of doing that work since they've left, left the house. But when we were younger and still living with you and mom, it was... It was important that we all do our part, but it was more important that we develop as people because of that work. Exactly. We become better humans by doing the work of the family. Mm -hmm. That's the key. And I think it's, an, this is such a rabbit hole now, but mentally I, I think it's not the perspective I would have had as a kid because I didn't like chores and I hid from chores <laughs> very fre frequently. If you can't be found, you can't be responsible. But that doesn't know, work with God. You I know? think as a parent, you might be like, oh, I'm going to do this favor in a way for my kids. But it's not really a favor to take work away from them. Work Precisely. Is a very important thing. And that obviously bringing it full circle applies very much so to prayer. And when I think or get into this loop of being like, what prayer is more powerful or people in heaven can pray. So why isn't everything just perfect by now? Remembering that there there is importance in the part we play. That, that is so well stated. Yeah. God the Father wants us to play our part because by playing our part, we become magnificent. And if we don't play our part, we won't. Thanks for the conversation. It was a fun one. I didn't know where it was going to go because I just... I'll start maybe asking some more interesting theological questions. I was not expecting you to ask me about ghosts. <laughs> well, I was just going to ask if you're afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others.